Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Saturday, July 11th, 2020. This is 2020 on the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. So today's a auspicious, inauspicious, a day that will live in infamy. Uh, no, so five years ago today, I changed my handle on the Instagrams there to Drunk Poker Room. I was, I was robbing bacon strips because I really like bacon. That hasn't changed. I love bacon. And now I get to make bacon every morning at work and then I eat the bacons. Um, but yeah, so I changed it. It was a joke. There's a whole thing on it. You can read it on the blog. It's been there for a couple of years. So five years ago, it had nothing to do with beer. It had everything to do with being a drunk who disappears. Um, so it was never a planned thing. So anyways, I was looking back at some old posts. Say five years is a long time. Um, it's, it's cool to look back. But the first beer I did under that name was Mill Street Tank House Ale, which at the time, Mill Street was still uh, craft beer. Now, uh, I've learned a lot. We've gone through the stages of craft beer. We've gone to the point where we don't have to worry. You just drink what you want. So I, I saw this, and I thought, I'm going to get this kind of to celebrate today. Five years is, is pretty cool. Uh, 5% organic pills here. Um, they have partnered with my friend Ren Beer Diversity. To make, uh, they have another beer. Out, I haven't found it yet, but I will. So they're doing good things, uh, and they make good beer. I haven't had a tank house ale in forever. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get one because you know it's been a while, and I think that's one of those beers I want to revisit. Um, and I do love a good pilly. I can't find the glass I use though. I, I have this glass now, so grassy, you know, nice hay, uh, some, some cracker malt, beautiful. It's gonna cheers, my friends. Uh, thank you for being along for five years. It's, it's been a, a while. It's a long time. It's a nice pilly. And again, I didn't expect it not to be a nice pilly. Here's the thing. Mill Street knows how to make beer. I mean, they always have. That hasn't changed. Um, it's nice. It's definitely got that cracker malt body, that, like, hoppy spice finish. You know, that sass hop spice finish. It's got that kind of beer bitterness, but not overwhelming. A touch sweet. Uh, this is Donna. That's why I always say Donna's the best, because Donna dials everything in Pilsner or Kel level. But this is a good beer, and there's nothing wrong with it that it's not craft. I know people don't get mad and get angry about it. I don't anymore. I've grown past that. Drink what you want. Somebody say we were at a, uh, a family gathering, a funeral for uh, uh, Mrs. Polk's, uh, or Lady Polk's uncle, passed away, Uncle Frank. Um, so we were at a funeral today, and, and we went back. We were social distancing, sort of standing around talking, and, and somebody came out with a bag, and you want a beer? I said, of course I want a beer. You know, it's a hot day, and we've had an emotional day. And I pulled it mostly Canadian. Sure you can. I'm like, I don't care. It tasted good. It tasted good because we were there remembering and talking and, and stuff like that. And contextually, the beer was what it was. So this is a good beer. You know, I, I prefer to support my local small craft. But at the end of the day, beer's a beer. It's a beer. So here's to five years, my friends. Cheers to you for sticking around and doing what you do. If you, if you created an account, I've seen a lot of people do it. And it's been fun to watch that grow and change. Cheers. Tastes like a beer.